How we doing guys? Coming to you from Kabul, Afghanistan. No, it's a, not a live stream, but at least I'm alive again today. Uh, here from Kabul. I know you guys haven't seen me in about a week now. Uh, my channel's been shut down. The live stream is not functioning at all. So I've been working on getting that up and it's really, it's, it's, uh, man, I, I begged, begged and pleaded, uh, and, and, and no, no concerns on that. So what I wanted to do was go into the notes I made on the Cowboys game this week. Uh, I think we've got a good chance of taking first place. That'll give us two division wins. Even if Philly wins this game, well, I had the game on, but this is the uh, Coaches 22 view uh, there on uh, NFL. <laughs> I'm not even going to mention the NFL because they're the ones that blocked me. So why would I give any uh, shout-outs to NFL Livestream, which actually I did sign up for the NFL Livestream uh, just to do the one week thing and check it out and I was unable to get my money back they charged my credit card so that's what I think for the NFL take that one there buddy and block my channel you asshole sorry guys if there's kids out there but that does piss me off but here we go guys with the breakdown I think the Cowboys have a really good chance they're very strong in the middle uh, we're gonna have to run the ball uh, wide on the edges which I think is good uh, that, that means we'll probably run the ball a lot from uh, shotgun formation with some read options, which is what all of us want to see. Uh, Zach Brown and Mason Foster, their linebackers are very quick, pretty good linebackers. Uh, so I'm, I'm expecting us to try to challenge them and get them out of the box. I'm hoping they will use Rico Gathers, who has drawn so much defensive attention. When you guys see him on the field, if you watch the All-22 for the Cowboys, I'm going over the Washington game now, was kind of checking out some things. Uh, Jonathan Allen, uh, Deron Payne, their rookie uh, defensive tackle, was the number one defensive tackle taken. Uh, I, I'm almost positive he was the first defensive tackle taken in, in the draft uh, out of Alabama. Very, very good defensive uh, tackles there. It's going to be tough to get get up the middle here. Uh, I am worried about Connor Williams a little bit, so we'll have to see uh, how that goes. As you guys know, on the other side, Travis Frederick will, will have his, his side locked down, uh, as always. Um, so it's a big game. Uh, Tyron Smith should, should be okay. They're, they're not great on the ends. And Malik Collins should be all right. I really, really expect a big game from the Hot Boys. This is the healthiest the Hot Boys have been. We should have everyone there. I don't think I don't have show anyone as uh, on the injured list even Friday or even questionable Friday. The only one uh, that's not there in the secondary is possibly Chidobi Awuzie. Uh, as you guys know, Joe Thomas is out, uh, which it really is a big hurt on our special teams. So that's the breakdown I have for the Cowboys. Uh, Tavon Austin, as you guys know, is out, and Joe Thomas. Sean Lee will be back. He should be very close to 100%. I'm not expecting him to play a lot, a lot, unless these linebackers or these tight ends, and and, and uh, the Redskins do have two very good tight ends, as you guys know, uh, Jordan Reed and Vernon Davis, probably the best tight end tandem or one of the best tandem tight ends uh, you know, that, that's a two-headed beast right there. You know, you got two big tight ends. They're really weak at receiver. They did sign a, a receiver today to the active roster uh, to help them out because they're – so we should have a good day in the secondary as long as we can lock these two tight ends down. My concern with that before, uh, I, I loved watch – last year what the Washington games was one of my best games to watch because everybody was thinking those guys were going to go off and Byron Jones shut them down. Uh, they had 50 yards combined last year, uh, the game that I, I was particularly looking at uh, and was, was like really riled up to see. Um, and two, you know, two tight ends that average 50, 50 yards a game each, we locked them down with Byron Jones, and uh, he did play really well. As you guys know, he's a corner now. So they could challenge us at that tight end position there. They might, uh, if they get any passing yards, my big prediction for this game is I don't think they're going to hit 150 yards passing. Uh, I, I hope they keep them under 120, and it would be, a, a, man, it would just be laugh out loud hysterical if we hold them to under 100 yards uh, passing. Uh, the Hot Boys are going to get after it, man. They're, they're, they're going to be fighting to get on the field. Uh, and it's really fun to watch our defense come onto the field. Now, that that's so – I mean, it, it's almost fun. It, it's kind of crazy. It's not like our defense is scoring points, but still when they come on the field, 
you're like, hell yeah, here comes the defense, you know. Uh, they're fast, they're quick, they tackle. Uh, it, we do have some issues at safety still, but I think those guys are coming along uh, because the rest of the defense is, I think, is helping the safeties out quite a bit. So as long as we get good play up front and then we get that play by them linebackers, I think we probably, within the next couple weeks, uh, we're, I think we'll have the, the best linebacking core. I think we already do. I think it's just not out there yet. Our, our linebacking core will soon be listed as the number one linebacking core uh, in the league. Uh, I hope our offense can can uh, doesn't sputter uh, and and backfire, uh, you know, like it uh, did the weeks before. Uh, last week was outstanding to do that to Jacksonville. Uh, I think we have the opportunity to do that today. We've got to run on the edges. We've got to get uh, Rico Gathers involved and get those linebackers out of the box. Um, I think he can do it. I don't think that they're scared of Swain. Uh, he just doesn't challenge. Uh, he doesn't challenge deep. And we really don't have much of a, another deep threat. Uh, Deontay Thompson is supposed to be, they're supposed to launch the ball a couple times to him this game. Uh, that was stated uh, thoroughly, uh, very physically by, uh, by uh, Stephen Jones. Uh, he said we're going to have to use his speed. We've got to get the ball down the field. It was said last week one of the big plays of the game was the deep throw to Tavon Austin, uh, but it was incomplete. Uh, he overthrew him. But those, those safeties got deep after that. They said, oh, hell, we almost gave up a touchdown right there. So you don't, you don't always have to complete those passes. You have to throw them. And if you can get your man deep, even if, if Dak throws a, a bad deep ball and o overthrows them, it's better than underthrowing them, of course, and getting an interception. But it, at least it, you know, it's similar to a punt. You know, If you throw a 40-yard 40 40 yard bomb and it gets intercepted, it's like punting on second down. You know, it's, it, it's not a big deal. I'd prefer that and challenge the defense and, and get an interception than not challenge the defense. So we've got to get Dak out of the closet. I've been saying that for about a year now. I don't know, like I said, if, if he's in the closet because he's nervous to pass the ball or if, if he's timid to, you know, he doesn't want to throw interceptions, I know that, or if the coach has got him, like, on safety. You know, take the safety off, dude. This is the war zone. Play war. Uh, launch the ball down the field. Challenge the defense. Um, if you, I would rather you have, I said this before, I would rather him have three touchdowns and two interceptions than one touchdown. Uh, it, it's because that means he's forcing the ball. He's challenging the defense. And we've got to do that to get these guys out of the box, especially against uh, the Redskins. They're going to load the box. They got Josh Norman. Uh, their other, uh, no, that's the wide receiver. Crowdy is injured. So. Uh, we got a good chance, guys. It's going to be a really good game. Even if Philly wins, uh, we win. We're still in first. Uh, we'll be tied with Philly. But uh, we will have uh, two conference wins, and Philly only has one. So it'll put us ahead of them by conference wins, which is good. Sometimes that's what wins you the division. Uh, that's all we need today. We need a win. We need uh, these guys. Actually, we need Carolina to put an ass whooping on Philly. That game is on right now, so I'm going to switch over to that. Uh, and I love you guys. Thank you very much for, for, for please subscribe and join the channel. And, and, and uh, I'm trying to keep it growing, but, but it's tough. I like doing the live streams. You guys know that I like talking to you. So hit the comment box. Comment, 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 please. Because I will be answering the comments since I can't go live. Uh, and I will probably do a couple videos during the game and post those um, and, and get that out to you guys. Thank you very much. Take care, guys. Peace in the Middle East. Cowboy Crunk is out. Your wartime updates on the Cowboys. Go Cowboys. Love you, Blue.